Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be previewing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Week 7 matchup versus... The Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be a very difficult matchup for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I'm excited to dive into it. This video is sponsored by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, by the way. More about them a little bit later on in this video. But let's go ahead and start off by talking about the Buccaneers offense versus the Baltimore Ravens defense. And firstly, I want to talk about the running game for the Bucs because they just had 277 total rushing yards as a team against the New Orleans Saints far and away the most they have had this year but one interesting thing to note is that that's actually the third game in a row that they've had over a hundred rushing yards as a team they had over a hundred against the eagles over a hundred against the falcons and over 250 against the saints so the run game is looking very well right it's it's it's, it's very strong right now at this point you have a lot of different guys who are contributing Bucky Irving is actually 19th in the NFL in rushing yards right now with 328 you had Sean Tucker come in and do a fantastic job in my opinion to the tune of almost 200 total or I believe he did have almost basically 200 total scrimmage yards in the game last week and then of course you know those two are going to be carrying the load in this game right Sean Tucker is averaging 8.9 yards per carry Bucky Irving is averaging 5.7 yards per carry that's great but how is the Baltimore Ravens rushing defense well they're pretty good they've allowed only 354 rushing yards so far this year through six games that's only good for 3.0 yards per carry you know, this this passing, or this rushing defense, I should say, is very good. So this is going to be a tough test for Bucky Irving for Sean Tucker. And if Rashad White does play, I don't believe he's playing. But if he does play, also for Rashad White as well. We'll see how the Buccaneers offensive line gets going. They did have Graham Barton miss last week. I believe he's going to be playing in this upcoming game. And they have a lot of momentum on their side in terms of rushing offense. So if they can get going in that rushing game, kind of kick that Ravens, you know, really good rushing defense so far up to this point early and and get some production, that'll help out tremendously. How is the Ravens passing defense well they are the third worst in the nfl ironically enough the bucks are fourth worst in the nfl but still not as bad as the ravens the baltimore ravens have allowed 1654 passing yards so far this year through six games 11 touchdowns and three interceptions big difference here for the bucks by the way is that yes they have allowed 1514 passing yards this year we've only allowed six passing touchdowns and they have recorded five interceptions as a defense against the pass so so uh, you would argue that the Bucks, yes, they do bend, but they do not break. The Baltimore Ravens passing defense isn't as efficient, let's say, as not giving up scoring. So look, you're going to be looking for Chris Godwin to hopefully have a big game. He has 511 receiving yards this year, five receiving touchdowns. That's tied for the NFL lead. Mike Evans, if he is available, Todd Bowles did say it was going to be a game time decision, but... I believe Mike Evans said on the Rich Eisen show that he was going to play. I know a few of you guys commented that in some recent videos. He might have a big game as well. He has 310 receiving yards this year. He has five receiving touchdowns. Again, tied for the league here in the NFL through six games. That's where you think the Bucs could probably take advantage. Baker Mayfield through six games. Now, obviously, this is being filmed after a lot of the early game windows in week seven, so maybe this has changed, but Baker Mayfield has 15 touchdown passes this year. That's first in the league right now as of the recording of this video without week seven stats recorded. Baker Mayfield's been in an absolute role this year, and the Ravens have had a bit of a, a problem this year with allowing passing touchdowns so that is possibly where you can see the Buccaneers benefit the Ravens have allowed the fifth most passing touchdowns this year the Bucks have allowed the 23rd most so the Bucks passing defense again it bends but it does not break in regards to the passing game whereas the Ravens have been struggling with giving up passing touchdowns so look for Baker Mayfield look for Mike Evans and Chris Godwin to get involved early Folks, real quick, I do want to say thank you so much to BetUS Sportsbook and Casino for being the sponsor of this video. If you use the promo code YouTube150, you will get a 150% sign-up bonus on your first deposit. Then after that, two 125% bonuses 
All of that is up to $2,000. Again, when you use the promo code YouTube150, thank you so much to BetUS Sportsbook and Casino for being the proud sponsor of this channel. Folks, now that we have talked about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense versus the Baltimore Ravens defense, I want to talk about the reverse. What can the Buccaneers do to stop the Baltimore Ravens offense? Because look, they're a pretty good offense so far this year. You take a look at the overall passing stats. As I said, Baker Mayfield leads the way in the NFL through six games with 15 passing touchdowns. Lamar Jackson is sixth with 10 passing touchdowns right now. He's actually tied for fifth with C.J. Stroud through six games. So Lamar's been very good this year. He also is seventh in the league in passing yards with 1,529. Baker Mayfield's right behind him with eighth, by the way, with 1,489. But we all know that that is not the only threat that Lamar Jackson poses to NFL defenses. How is he running the football? Well, he has 403 rushing yards this year. That's tied for 8th most in the NFL. Yes, a quarterback is the 8th best rusher in the NFL right now. In terms of rushing touchdowns, he does only have 2. That's the 28th most in the NFL right now. But Lamar is still Lamar. He's an absolute dual threat. He's the best dual threat in the league. And you have to contain him. Who's number 1 in rushing yards, by the way? Well, it's Baltimore Ravens running back Derrick Henry. He very much looks like the Derrick Henry of old. 704 rushing yards on the season so far this year. That is first in the league. Eight rushing touchdowns through six games. That was also first in the league as well. He's averaging 117.3 yards per game, folks. 117.3 yards per game. He also leads the NFL in rushing attempts with 119. This is the most dangerous combination that the Ravens propose, right? Is Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry. How are you going to stop that, right? How in the world are you going to stop that? Uh, I believe Larry Foote had put it best earlier this week where he said, well, the first thing you got to do is pray, right? And the Bucks have the 20th best, or sorry, I guess I should say they have the 13th best rushing defense in the entire league so far this year. The Baltimore Ravens have the second best rushing defense. The Bucks have the 13th. They have allowed 680 rushing yards through 13 games, 4.7 yards per carry. So look, the Bucks are going to have to be on their P's and Q's in terms of the running game. They're going to have to. They're going to have to dare Lamar Jackson and the Ravens to beat them with the passing game. By the way, Former Buccaneers offensive coordinator Todd Munkin is actually the offensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens now. So an interesting connection and thread there. But look, getting Vita Vea back, I believe, is going to help. Getting Kalijah Kansi back is going to help as well, in my opinion. You take a look at the overall tackles for loss this year. Vita Vea has five. Logan Hall has had a career year so far, by the way. He has three tackles for loss. You've got guys contributing like Levante David with three, Yaya Diaby with three. Kalaja Kansi had two tackles for loss in his first game back and a sack. Uh, you're going to have to have your guys be on their A game, right? I'm talking specifically in that front seven. Vita Vea, Kalaja Kansi, Logan Hall, they're going to have to play lights out. I think Levante David's going to have to play fantastic. Uh, that front seven's going to have to put in some work in this game. Can they do it? I absolutely do believe so. But this is one of the biggest reasons as to why this is such a tough matchup here against the Ravens. They do run the football very well. And their passing game is still generally pretty decent. You know, with Lamar Jackson, he's still passing the ball pretty darn well. Um, isn't really turning the ball over too, too much. So this is going to be an interesting battle here for the Bucs. It, it, it really is. Um, we will see. We'll see how the Buccaneers do in this game again. Defensively, it all starts with stopping Derrick Henry, stopping Lamar Jackson. Okay? You do have some other weapons in there, like, for example, Zay Flowers. He's been really good this year. He has 401 receiving yards, but only one receiving touchdown. After that, you've got kind of a mismatch of guys. Rashad Bateman's been involved. Isaiah Likely's been involved. Mark Andrews, backup running back, Justice Hill. But their bread and butter, obviously, is still with their rushing attack. Uh, again, got to contain Lamar. Got to contain Derrick Henry. That's going to be the biggest key to winning this game for the Bucs and, 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 you know, having that competitiveness offensively, take advantage of this Ravens' weakness. I understand that the rushing attack has had a good couple of weeks, right? I understand that completely. You're coming off of a couple of big games here. Again, 
277 yards against the Saints defense last week, but this can be and should be a game, by the way, where I think Baker Mayfield needs to sling the rock. By the way, Baker Mayfield against the Baltimore Ravens in his career, a 3-6 and six record, 2,417 passing yards through nine games, 13 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. So not great, but not the worst thing we have ever seen. The last time... Um, you know, the last time that Baker Mayfield played against the Baltimore Ravens was with the Carolina Panthers. It was a 3-13 to loss. He threw 196 yards, two picks in that game, no touchdowns. Um, it's It's been a bit of a mixed bag. There was a stretch where Baker Mayfield had four straight losses against the Ravens. He has actually lost five out of the last six matchups he's had against the Ravens. But that was against Cleveland Browns team that was banged up. You know, that was against or with a Carolina Panthers team that was not very good. They're still not very good. And um, I think we're going to see a different Baker out there, right? He has been on fire this year, and that's going to be a big key to the Bucks' success. It is. You got to let Baker cook. Hopefully, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and Jan McMillan can step up, right, and get this passing game going. Maybe we even see Kate Otten get going. He's actually third on the Bucks right now in targets and third on the team in receiving yards. So maybe we see Kate Otten a little bit more involved in there as well. But Roquan Smith's a very good linebacker, so we'll see. But, folks, that's it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this game down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. Let me know your score predictions down in the comments section below. Also, thank you to BetUS Sportsbook and Casino one more time for sponsoring this video. But as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.